had nothing to do nothing to do for me with um, the rest of the season it's a game and even if we if we play have only eight players available for example i would like to try to win it it's a it's a, it's a final first time that i realized that nobody sees it like that to be honest a curtain raiser is unbelievable. So I, I, we think constantly about the game and how can we prepare it and then everybody looks like, oh, uh, do they really play? Um, that's um, not too cool, but it's how it is. We cannot change that as well. So we try to be as ready as possible. That's what I can say. And then if we win it, good. Has an influence on the season? I don't think so. If we lose it, not good. Has an influence on the season? It's not allowed. So then we have another five days, but we cannot risk players or whatever. We have to see um, who we can line up and who will train and who will play. But of course, um, we have to make sure that we have a lineup that gives us the opportunity to win the game. Uh, the Liverpool game was absolutely huge because that was the one where uh, City fans feared the worst. I just never expect anything. Um, I've never seen us get more than a, a nil nil or a two all draw. We know that we're good enough to get the three points. I've seen them win there twice. <laughs> you know, all the talk of the previous season, you might have got 100 points, you might have won the league and the cup, but oh, you didn't beat Liverpool. If we're going to do it, it should be now. There was no way we were going to get beat again. It's one of those things, you dust yourself down, you carry on with, with Man City, we fight to the end, we never let our heads get down. Liverpool at home, really, really stressful, like, you know, Derby stressful. I just want it to be that raucous atmosphere, I want to go into that ground and I want the fans to be absolutely behind the team. We had to win, you know, there, there was no draw in this game. It's chance to close that gap and stop them from getting any lead on us. Mane puts it past the keeper. Oh my God, they're going to score. Hit the back of his own goalkeeper. Oh my God, they're going to score, they're going to score, they're going to score. It's no goal. And I actually thought it had gone over. And if that would have gone in, it would have just been an absolute killer. It was better than scoring a goal. We were still behind Liverpool then. We still had it all to do. Laporte, Laporte with the cross. The goalkeeper was six yards away. He didn't even move. The header just outside the box, falling to Bernardo. The gap that gets that ball in. City once again falling. Apparently, Alisson and De Gea are the two best goalkeepers in the world. Sergio Aguero does exactly the same thing to both of them. And as soon as it comes to him, one touch and then smash. City once again falling for that byline and it's in the back of the net! And it's Aguero breaks the deadlock! What a finish from the Argentina! But this wasn't a game about style. This was actually a performance of blood and thunder. That one victory was like a bit of a right, we're back in it again now.